Hey guys, here we are back presenting Imagine Earth Alpha release 33. It involves crafting and hacking and uh, as usual we'd love to hear how the new features work out for you. Please leave us your comments and ideas. The biggest thing of this release is definitely the improved end boss simulator formerly known as the electronic employee. The uplink now sends out floating drones which increase its territorial cable web field by field. You can use frontier towers with laser or pulse cannons to defend yourself against it. Be careful, the drones will fire back. Luckily there are now several ways to get rid of this threat. Use asteroid strikes or volcano eruptions, or expand your territory and drop explosive devices or Eidion bombs. These blasting items have an increased peaceful use as well. Use them to blow up small and even big mountains to gain colony space. They will leave rocks behind that eventually contain gold and titanium. The first mission on Planet Tuto got reworked to make it far more entertaining and to introduce the new ability of crafting objects that you could only buy before we came up with the workshop construct. In the workshop you get a list of special items that you can craft yourself instead of buying them. And they are listed with up to three resources that you need for the generation of a certain object. And it also shows if these parts are available or not. This will enhance the trading system as well, because you can buy many parts from your trading partners and other factions. We start the crafting system with a basic set of strategic items that you can craft, but we might add more options as we see how the whole system of crafting develops. Nitro pumpkins are a new rare resource plant used to produce fertilizer and explosives for example. Because it enriches nitrogen, it can be found in mires and cold but fertile biomes on every planet. New item, the hacking kit. Buy this item from the tech trader to hack and take over an adjoining tower of another faction. They can defend themselves by the use of such a hacking tool as well. So it makes sense to keep one in your inventory just for safety reasons. Temperatures and global warming. Some trees and plants will not stand a chance in snowland anymore, but they will regrow leaves as soon as the temperature rises to positive numbers again. There is a new variable range of global planetary temperature that can be defined when creating a new planet. The global temperature is rising by up to 10 degrees Celsius until the final climate collapse happens. This is also important for the health of local flora. Water temperature is limited down to minus 2 degrees Celsius. You can experience these phenomena on our new ice planet that I'm currently working on. Here you can wake up sleeping volcanoes with Edeon bombs to raise the local temperature. In addition we have some improvements to the share system, the buying system for shares and the city takeover process improvement. From now on you can always repurchase your shares for a double price if somebody else owns them. The shares will be taken from the biggest share owner. You will no longer have to obtain over 50% of an opponent's shares to take over a city that is smaller than 50%. The takeover fee has been reduced to 8000 coins. Last but not least, we send our AI back to school again. Our AI companies can now use the land claim feature to obtain fields and resources adjoining their build radius. 
they will eventually use the hacking tool to take over your towers so you better take care thanks for listening guys this was all for today if you like to know more about the game's ongoing development just um get the newsletter the monthly development letter that we offer or follow the youtube channel we have of course you're invited to leave your ideas in the comments see you next time goodbye